Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting to review the situation in the flood-ravaged northeastern states. Chief ministers and senior officials from the affected states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Manipur also attended the meeting held in Guwahati city, a report. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting in Guwahati to take stock of the flood situation in India's northeastern states at Assam Administrative Staff College, Khanapara. The meeting was also attended by senior administrative officials and chief ministers of the concerned states which included Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur and Nagalin. His visit to Assam is pronounced as one of the first where various central government agencies carried out studies of damage caused by recent floods in the region. Modi announced a special package of Rs 2,000 crore for the relief and rehabilitation of flood-affected people and for flood mitigation measures in the states which are inundated every year. Moreover, Assam received an additional amount of Rs 250 crore for immediate rehabilitation. An international committee will also be set up to study the Brahmaputra River to improve its water-holding capacity to help prevent the annual floods. The centre had also released Rs 300 crore in June for Assam to repair the damaged infrastructure in the floods. Flood management and damage control measures were discussed in the meeting. Prime Minister has said that this is a recurring flood coming every year. So now time has come to permanently settle it, permanently solve it. That is why he has said that a high power group with uh, scientists, technologists, engineers, bureaucrats will be constituted. And that group will be, uh, the initially, a corpus of rupees 100 crore will be given to that group so that they can study the course of the Brahmaputra River and suggest remedial measure so that flood problem can ultimately permanently solve. Modi's visit to Assam reiterates his commitment towards a long-term solution to the recurring floods in the northeast. A memorandum was also presented on flood erosion to the Prime Minister by State BJP Party, Assam Gana Parishad and Boralan People Party and Prime Minister took a serious note of it. The central government has also sanctioned over Rs 1200 crore for things like repairing, maintenance and strengthening of roads, highways, bridges and other damaged infrastructure. PM साहब यहां पे खास करके नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जो जितने भी जो डिस्ट्रक्शंस हुआ है उसको रिव्यू करने के लिए यहां पे आए हुए हैं और सभी स्टेट्स के साथ में चीफ मिनिस्टर और जितने भी जो ऑफिसर्स के साथ में बैठ के इंटरेक्शन अभी ये हुआ जा रहा है तो हमारा स्टेट का जस्ट अभी खत्म होके मैं बाहर निकला हूं और जिस प्रकार से पीएम साहब बहुत डिटेलली वहां पे ये जिस प्रकार से जो प्रॉब्लम जो हुआ है बहुत डिटेलली वो पूछते हैं बहुत डिटेलली हम लोग ने इंटरेक्शन किया है तो ये पूरे हम नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लिए बड़ा ही खुशी का बात है कि प्राइम मिनिस्टर खुद यहां नॉर्थ ईस्ट में चल के यहां का जो दुख तकलीफ को समझने के लिए खुद यहां आया है तो मैं काफी इस चीज को अप्रिशिएट करता हूं Prior to Prime Minister Modi's visit to the state, a seven-member inter-ministerial central team had also visited Assam on July 25th for four days to assess the flood situation and the damage caused by it. Modi also announced an ex-gratia of Rs 2 lakh each for the families of those killed and Rs 50,000 each of those injured in Assam floods. We have explained about the damage caused by flood and then the unusual rain had affected so many uh, households and so many and we had lost about uh, 19, 19 lives and five people are still missing so this is really unusual for Nagaland so we have a price in and uh, we, we have we have it, we have told the prime minister that uh, we'll assess the loss and detailed report will be sent to the government the floods in Assam this year claimed 83 lives and affected over 20 lakh people. Moreover, states of Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Mizoram too were hit badly by the annual deluge.